Here are some things that are banned in war. In war, balloon bombs are banned. This is where a bomb or Molotov cocktail is attached to a balloon. The balloon is then floated over enemies. Bioweapons are also banned in war. Bioweapons are things like bacteria or viruses. They can cause disease in humans and animals. Napalm is also banned in war. Napalm is a type of aluminium soap. It is incredibly flammable and can start big fires. Blinding lasers are also banned in war. These powerful lasers can be used to blind people, and sometimes even take down helicopters and planes. Craziest military training exercises. The South Korean and Chinese armies break bricks of concrete with their heads. This is a monk technique. It allows them to master pain and also strikes fear into their enemies. The Philippine Navy SEALs have to do what's known as Drunk Hell Week. This is where they sleep just one hour per day for a whole week. They have to do lots of exercises and training, and they have to be intoxicated all week long. The UK Royal Marines have to do a 32-week training course, but the worst part is known as the Mud Run. They have to run and crawl through terrible smelling mud, and also push gigantic logs through the mud. US Navy SEALs do what's known as drown proofing. Their arms and legs are tied. They then have to retrieve an object from the bottom of a pool using just their mouth. Only 5% pass the Navy SEAL training. Pilots who ejected at the last second. One day a pilot named Anatoly Kavolka was flying a plane. He was doing various tricks at an air show, but that's when he realized his MiG-29 plane was about to crash. Thankfully, he ejects just seconds before the plane hits the ground. But what went wrong? Look closely at this slowed down video. As you can see, this bird flies into the right engine of the plane, causing the plane to crash to the ground. Thankfully, the pilot Anatoly was totally fine after ejecting, and despite the massive explosion, no one was injured. One day, a British RAF Harrier plane is taking off from Afghanistan, but there's a problem with the plane and the pilot is forced to emergency land. The plane lands at a high speed, causing the nose to break off. The plane then catches fire, meaning the pilot has to eject. Thankfully, the pilot ejects in time, and in doing so, saves his own life. These are the scariest sounds of war. Ghost Tape 10 was an audio tape played by the US Army during the Vietnam War. They would play it from helicopters and boats. Its aim was to scare the enemy Viet Cong who were hiding in the jungle. <coughs> The A-10 Thunderbolt II is one of the most feared planes owned by the US military. It is better known as the Warthog because of the scary sound it makes. The Warthog can actually open the sound barrier. The atomic bomb is one of the most powerful bombs ever made. These are the most powerful bombs ever detonated. In 2022, Russia tested the Satan II for the first time. Putin called it the most powerful nuke in Russia's arsenal. It's 3,000 times bigger than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima, and can wipe out an area the size of England and Wales combined. Instead of going over the North Pole, it goes over the South Pole, making it undetectable to Western satellites. The Tsar Bomber was the biggest bomb ever created. It was tested by the Soviet Union. The shockwave of the Tsar Bomber shattered windows in Finland and Norway. It almost blew up the plane that dropped it. You can see a view of it from the plane's window here. Castle Bravo was the biggest nuke ever detonated by the USA. They did this in the Marshall Islands. A design error meant the blast was 2.5 times bigger than it should have been, causing radioactive debris to spread all over the world. This is the Bouncing Bomb. During World War II, the British Army created the Bouncing Bomb. This was a bomb that was dropped from a plane. The bomb would have a backspin, meaning it would bounce on the water. It would bounce a few times and then fall underwater, delivering maximum damage. It was designed to take out enemy ships and dams. The bouncing meant the bomb could avoid obstacles like torpedo nets. Sometimes these bouncing bombs were even used on land. But there was one problem. 
These bombs had to be dropped very nearby to the surface of the water, meaning that sometimes these bombs would bounce back up and hit the plane that dropped it. These bombs sank many German battleships and two major German dams causing massive flooding. Soldiers' faces before and after war. This is Evgeny Kobatev. He was a Soviet soldier in World War II. This is him in 1941. And here's how he looked four years later in 1945. As you can see, he was very shell-shocked from the war and aged about 20 years in only four years. This is a Russian soldier one month before mobilization. And here they are one month later. He looks thinner and much more stressed. This is a British soldier named Sean Tennant. And and here he is eight months later after being in Afghanistan. He looks much thinner, very tired, and very stressed. This is the horrible life of a female North Korean soldier. Female soldiers in North Korea suffer so much hunger and stress that they stop having their periods. Nearly 30 of them have to share one bedroom. And they sleep on mattresses made only of bags of rice. They have to wash outside in streams, meaning they have to bathe with frogs and snakes. And a recent study even found these female soldiers get abused. This is by their own male military commanders. Everyone has to join the military in North Korea, and you don't even get paid for your service. All this while Kim Jong-un has a yacht and a mansion. Female North Korean soldiers lead a truly hard and horrible life. This is the actual moment when an SOS sign was spotted by a military plane. In 2020, three sailors boarded a boat and went missing for three days. The men were going from Pulawat Atoll to the nearby Pulap Atoll. But when they never made it to their destination, they were reported missing. So the American military took off from an airbase in Guam and used a KC-135 Strato tanker to try and find the missing sailors. The plane couldn't find the men or their boat anywhere. That was until the plane had to make a sudden turn to avoid rain showers. When they did this, they flew over a tiny island, and as they were flying over it, noticed an SOS sign on the beach. It turned out the sailors had gone off course and then ran out of fuel. They then drifted 100 miles into the Pacific Ocean, before finally landing on Piccolot Island. Thanks to their SOS sign and a rain cloud, they were rescued, and their lives were saved. A mysterious new plane has been spotted near Area 51. Many question what happens at the Area 51 military base in the USA. One thing we do know is futuristic military aircrafts are tested here. That appears to be what someone caught on camera here. This video shows a new stealth aircraft being transported on a truck. No one knows what this mysterious aircraft is, but here's where things get weird. According to Saturn, light images, a new hangar was built at Area 51. It's believed the hangar's purpose is to store and hide this plane. Another satellite image appears to show a similar aircraft leaving the hangar. Many believe this is a secret hypersonic aircraft. This is a super fast military aircraft being developed by Lockheed Martin. But so far, the US military has refused to comment on this video. The owner of an Area 51 website has been raided by the FBI. This is Joerg Arnu from Nevada, USA. He operates a website about the top secret military base Area 51, but recently his home was raided by the military and FBI. He wasn't given much information about the search, but he was told the search was related to his website. His site, Dreamland Resort, is still up and running, but it seems like the military and FBI want to silence this man. Do you think this raid is legitimate, or do you think the FBI and military are trying to cover something up?